it's interesting standing in this same exact spot right here. This is this is the only reason I know that is because that tree right there was sort of had half leaves and half limbs on it, and um, so this was the spot right here that this all happened just about two weeks and two days ago. So I'm really, really, really grateful for you all to come back out here and to, to be with me and be with my friend and colleague and brother Joshua Lesser and, and all the other folks from, from all different places in Midtown and across the metro area. And my parents are here from Asheville, North Carolina. So it's, it's just an honor. As I was trying to make sense of this whole situation for myself, and and just on the on behalf of the community and and with Trent, um, it's it's um, I've had to give it a lot of serious reflection about you know what does it mean to have a gun to your head? What does it mean to be targeted because you are gay? What does it mean to be you know how, how do we make sense of all this and still be a Christian and still be somebody a person of faith and still be somebody who wants to work for restorative justice and beloved community and all of these things and. And so I kind of just poured myself into that and I wrote this open letter to the beloved community, which some of you may have read. And, and I just, I really wanted to be honest about that, but also try to move in the direction uh, of love, move in the direction of creating a, a positive thing out of all of this, because I think that that is a different response than usually happens to, to situations like this. And I've heard story after story after story over the past two weeks of other folks who have been in the same situation that I have and actually came out a little bit worse than I did in these type of situations and, and I, it's it's really important to have community around you to to help cleanse the space and bring some new energy back into this place that we all love and we all love Piedmont Park you know and we don't we don't want to stop coming here and it's important for us to gather together and to just just really claim it as our own and to keep it safe um, one thing that I think I'm interested in doing and and we'll see kind of how this plays out in the coming weeks is is really reaching out to a lot of different communities within the LGBT community, within the Midtown, within the Metro Atlanta community, and trying to build those important relationships so that we can all um, try to create a different climate um, in our culture that doesn't give people as easy permission to commit acts of violence because somebody's different, or to, to say ugly names or say ugly things just because somebody is different. I think that building relationships is kind of how that changes the climate. And so that's what we want to try to go for, is beloved community. And I, I do think that this right here is a beautiful example of beloved community. Folks coming together to um, change tragedy into something triumphant. And so it's really uh, a blessing to be with you all here today.